Hey guys, what's up, I'm back with another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a bootable Linux DVD. For those of you whose computer is very old, or lacks the ability to boot off of a USB, then a bootable CD or DVD is the solution you need. Like a bootable USB, a bootable DVD can come in handy for when you need to do recovery related things on your PC or you simply want to try a different OS on your machine. To get started with this tutorial, please make sure you have the following things. 1. A computer running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. 2. An appropriate program for burning CDs and DVDs, for Windows users, I recommend you use ImageBurn, or BurnAware, and for Linux users, Brazero is the one I recommend especially if you're using Ubuntu or Linux Mint. And 3. You will need a CD-DVD drive, capable of reading CD and DVD-R and plus R. I do not recommend using a read-writable CD or DVD, as these ones do not last as long as a record one's CD or DVD. You may also encounter problems making a bootable CD or DVD that is RW, read-writable. And one more thing, you need to have the Linux distribution you wish to burn onto the CD or DVD. If you have all of these things, then you are all set to begin this tutorial. So, the first thing you will want to do, is to open up your CD DVD burning application, I will be using Image Burn in my case. In Image Burn, press on Write Image File to Disk. Then, you will need to select your ISO file you wish to burn to your CD or DVD. Once you have selected it, change the write speed to 4 times, as this prolongs the life of the CD or DVD, and don't forget to also verify your CD or DVD, and then click on write. If you're using image burn, you will need to press on write, which displays a disk on paper with a arrow pointing to a burning disk. This will take some time to burn, so grab a snack, and take a break if need be. Once your application has finished burning the CD or DVD, you can safely open up the disk tray, and remove the CD or DVD from your PC. You now have a bootable Linux disk that you can use on any PC, including a public one, such as that in the library. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and do be sure to give my videos a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated, and do enable notifications, so that you won't miss out on any future videos. Ok, bye for now.